So it's been a while. I haven't vlogged quite some time. In this video, I'm kind of gonna go over, kind of gonna be like a vlog slash camera review. Since I've had this camera, this is the Canon G7X Mark II, and I've had it for a little over a year now. Got it last January. So it's still a really great camera. And I use a lot of, I use a lot of different equipment nowadays with my Canon, my other Canon. This is the ADD and this thing is a beast. Also, I want to mention that I have a new lens, which is the 24 to 70 f4 lens and it's an l series lens and we can go into that in another video but a lot of new stuff a lot of old stuff i actually have one more thing that i need to mention i guess this is kind of like a haul camera gear haul because i haven't been able to really make videos uh, this guy right here i still got to get a charger for it so it hasn't been up and running yet yeah Check it out. This is the Canon. This is the Canon EOS D. Don't get it confused with the 1DX Mark II. This is like the very first or like the second camera that came out in the 1D series. So I got that too. So I'm still yet to test this thing out and see if this thing holds up with photography in 2019. So this is a second gen of the lineup of the EOS 1D lineup. So it doesn't do video, I don't believe. I think it just shoots photos. And it's an 8.5 megapixel. So we'll see how that holds up against all of the other cameras that I have. This one right here and my Canon 80D, which is a 24 megapixel camera. So that's a lot of, that's a big difference. Can you believe this thing with close to, or not, probably over $8,000 when it first came out. Jeez, that's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. I've been doing a lot of videos with, a lot of videos, a lot of photography with this guy, just because it's touch screen, everything's laid out really nice and neat on the screen. Yeah, it's just, it's an updated camera. Even though it came out in what, 2016, 17? I'm not sure. Um, I'll post something up here to correct myself if I'm wrong. Those are the cameras that I'm using. The one I'm using right now, Canon G7X. The one I have here, the ADD, and then we got the 1D Mark II. Can't wait to try all these out. That'll be in a later video, but I just kind of wanted to show you some updated stuff. Kind of, again, like a little camera haul. But yeah, let's go into how uh, this camera is still holding up the G7X right now. So I didn't realize that this camera is pretty dope. I've had this for over a year and I actually figured out one thing that I didn't know about this camera. This camera has a built-in ND filter. The thing about ND filters is they help reduce the amount of light going into the lens of your camera, basically allowing you to shoot in 24 frames per second without having your footage blown out. ND filters help with videography a lot, photography a little bit, this is a dope camera. I did not know that it had a built-in ND filter until like a couple of months ago. That's pretty cool. So if you're still looking to find like a vlogging camera or a camera to take with you on trips and stuff like that, just something that you can fit in your pocket, this is a great camera. This is an amazing camera. I'm not sponsoring this video or I'm not sponsored by anything from Canon, but I'm just letting you know if you are looking to get a vlogging camera or starting out with geography, this is a great camera can shoot in 24 frames per second. That's dope. 60 frames per second. You can slow that footage down in post. You can make it slow motion. It's dope. The autofocus is pretty decent on it. Not as good as like a DSLR, but it does the job. And I do a lot of my videos, a lot of my sit down videos. Sometimes I'll, I'll bring this out. This thing is awesome. So another thing about this camera, it takes really great pictures too. After using it for a year, you know, I wasn't actually taking photos a lot. I was doing a lot more video. Obviously, as you can tell from my channel, it's just all videos, not really pictures. But I started getting into photography and I'm kind of like pretty like waist high in it. I've been doing videography and photography now and photography has been a big portion of what I do now. But I didn't actually know how to use manual settings on the camera. So let me show you some of the pictures indoors, outdoors, of what it can do shooting manual. Let's check it out.
as you can tell, this camera is pretty dope. I mean, after having it for a little over a year, it is, I mean, look at the clarity. <laughs> this is insane. Sorry, that's my cat. Hi. Say hi. Okay. The clarity on this is insane. Amazing. I mean, this is me with just using natural light from a window and it captures like the image <laughs> just so good. This camera goes to f1.8 when you can go that fast of an aperture on a camera, especially a point and shoot camera. You're getting that nice blurred background and it's pretty sick. Definitely, if you are looking into getting a point and shoot camera, this is bang for your buck. I, I mean, I'm still using it right now. If you have any questions about this camera, just leave a comment in the comment section down below. Below. I think I'm gonna wrap this video up and then uh, move on to some of the other stuff that I was showing you coming in the other videos. Well, I'm gonna peace out for now. Um, thanks for watching. If you've got any questions, leave a comment in the comment section down below and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.